Runtiest to Brontosaur ever. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my rag, my gal. Send me a kiss by water. Baby, my heart's on fire. Wave 2, Power of the Primes, has the last of the Dinobot Deluxes, including Sludge. Sludge was one of the original three Dinobots who turned into a Brontosaurus, or a Patasaurus if you want to be picky. His thing was that he was supposedly so big, strong, and heavy that he would make earthquakes just by stomping around. But there is a continuity problem with that. He is based on a sauropod dinosaur, which are supposed to be among the largest. But in the cartoon, he was always depicted to be the same size as Grimlock. Hence, there was no physical reason why he should be considered bigger, stronger, or heavier than any of the rest of the Dinobots. And his powers, therefore, made no sense. The toys were the same. In terms of scale, Sludge should have been a leader or a Titan-class figure. But Hasbro wanted Tyrannosaur Grimlock to be the boss. So poor Sludge got belittled. The box is standard, showing off the figure and accessories with character art on the front, a picture of Volcanicus on the side, and on the back, pictures of the figure in both modes and how to interact them with the accessories and the separately sold Prime Master figures. The bio reads, how will the Decepticon stomping Dinobot wield the power of the Primes? Something to do with stomping, no doubt. Let us remove Sludge from his box, and review him properly. Out of box, Sludge comes with his instruction manual. Collectible trading card saying what happens if he pairs up with Prime Master Solus Prime. In this case, he crafts a planet-sized simulation chamber so bots can train. Hmm. He comes with his Prime Armor accessory and a gun accessory which seems to be an exact copy of the one that was given to Dinobot Slug. And here is Sludge as an Apatosaurus. It looks good with lots of detail. The transparent plastic skull cap is in place with red and gray color scheme with black highlights. The stickers seem decently applied. For a change, instead of the smoky plastic that they usually use with the Dinobots, with Sludge, they went with a kind of clear silver plastic for the rear legs and the tail. Prime Master or Titan Master figures can be plugged into these peg holes on the top of the body. Harness the power, Dino Riders! <coughs> the weapon accessory can be plugged into this hole at the side of the leg, or at the side of the body. Ditto for the Prime Master armor. Although it's kind of swivelly in this joint. But I find that the best way to use the Prime Armor accessory for the dinosaur mode is to flip the peg up and out of the way. You will notice these holes in the side of the dinosaur body. You can hook these tabs underneath the thumb of the armor accessory and hook those into these holes and tilt them downwards. They will hold in place actually fairly decently. So you can mount the Prime Armor accessory to his back as a kind of armored gun assembly. Sadly, the jaw doesn't seem to open even though it looks like it's a separately molded piece. That's disappointing. There's not much articulation for the beast mode. These rear legs will swivel 360 degrees, but these feet will not tilt backwards and forwards. The hind leg is just one molded piece. The forelegs have all of the robot arms articulation. They are ball socketed and will splay forwards and backwards in and out. There is an upper swivel, and it will bend forwards or backwards at the elbow. This posture is one of the only ways to get the rear legs to be flush against the ground. I find it better to just simply extend the forearms and have the body tilted a little bit, with all four legs flush, and the tail kind of dragging behind him a bit. Transforming Sludge to a robot will be a familiar process for anybody who has transformed the other Dinobot Deluxes. Hinge the tail backwards. Rotate the legs downwards a bit, and then untab the legs and fold them outwards from the body. Split the rear tail apart, rotate the tail pieces outwards, otherwise they will get in the way, and you won't be able to rotate out the legs. The tail sections kind of rotate back in and then fold in to form the heel spurs. Then rotate the hind legs upwards. Yeah, that's the best you can do is to rotate them until they look a little less obtrusive. 
take the dinosaur torso section and split it apart. Rotate the waist joint so that the legs are facing forwards. Rotate the arms so that they are facing forwards. Use the upper arm swivel to rotate the arms forwards. Then flip out the hands from the forearm sections. Pop this plate loose and tilt the entire head assembly backwards to reveal the robot head. Rotate the dinosaur head on this swivel joint so that the neck is bent, and then push it against the side of the robot back, and reclose the hatch. When transforming the legs, make sure that the feet sections are properly tilted inside the leg cavity. As a robot, Sludge keeps very close to his old Generation 1 stylings with his Dinosaur plating turning into a kind of wing thingy. Even the crosshairs painted on his chest. Hey Megatron, shoot here! The wings, however, are a little low and they don't drape over his shoulders gracefully like they should. The feet are curious in that they aren't flat. They have this kind of curve towards the back. And they rely on the robot tail sticking up down here to keep him level. That seems a bit lame, but it works, I guess. The dinosaur legs are still just slapped onto the sides of the shins. They didn't really do anything with those, but since they have no articulation, they probably had no choice. Otherwise, the dino kibble hides fairly well, I suppose. With the brontosaur neck and head folded well enough at the back, the gun accessory will plug into either one of the robot hands. You may also plug them into these holes at the sides of the forearms. The same applies for the Prime Armor accessory, which will plug into either one of the hands or the forearms to use as a shield. And of course, you can plug it into the front of the robot chest to use as Prime Armor. You can stick it onto this hole at the back of the dinosaur neck as well to serve as a sort of top-heavy backpack. Sludge boasts the standard deluxe articulation with a 360 degree rotating head that feels a little tight in its socket. Ball socketed shoulders which will rotate and splay fully. An upper arm swivel. Bendable elbows which will rotate forwards and backwards. And hands that will tilt forwards and backwards as part of the transformation. Waist rotation is included along with ball socketed hips with a wide range of motion and an upper thigh swivel as well. This protrusion at the back of the thigh prevents some of the knee articulation and of course there are no feet beyond these spurs at the front and the back which keep him from falling over. So you can get excellent range of motion out of sludge as long as you can put up with the fact that the dinosaur parts are probably going to get in the way of some of the poses that you really want to use. Transforming from a robot to an arm is easiest. It's usually just a matter of pushing the leg halves together, making sure that all the tabs are in place, while transforming the upper body as if you were turning him back into a dinosaur. But in this case, you rotate the head assembly backwards, rotate out the combiner port peg, flip the dinosaur neck backwards on this secondary hinge, and peg it up against the side of the dinosaur body while leaving the upper part of the neck inverted. These pegs at the elbow peg into the dinosaur body at the side. If you're confused about what to do with the hind legs, don't worry, you're not alone. Apparently these tiny little tabs on the side of the legs are what are supposed to click into these grooves at the side. And that's it. As an arm, Sludge looks a little bit uh, weird, but so do most of the Dinobot Deluxes. It holds together well. You can see the dinosaur kibble all over the place, but the articulation as an arm is good, and he attaches well to Volcanicus, looking very beefy. And have I mentioned how much I hate this big huge gap here? To transform from forearm gestalt piece to the leg gestalt piece, flip up the combiner port, rotate the forearm section, then transform the Dinobot lower portions as if you were turning him back into a dinosaur. You'll note that these sections tab in fairly solidly. However, rotate the tail portions as if you were leaving him as a forearm. Tab them back together and push them into place. Tab the dinosaur legs back into place and push the head back down against the front of the dinosaur's back. The instructions have you rotate the robot forearms inside out and then tab them back in with the dinosaur paws facing forward along with the dinosaur head. 
I find that you can rotate the elbow sections of the forelegs forwards or backwards, depending on your personal preference. If you don't like the dino paws sticking out like that, you can rotate them backwards and sort of hide them. Take the Prime Armor accessory from Grimlock and plug it into the base of Sludge's foot. And this is Dinobot Sludge as a leg piece. Again, as with the other Dinobot Deluxes, he has this bowed look to him, making the ankle very, very tapered, while the upper portions are very, very thick. Once you plug him into Volcanicus, he looks decent enough as a leg, although this is not exactly putting his best foot forward. <laughs> For size comparison, here's Deluxe Power of the Prime's Sludge next to Generation 1 Grimlock. Here is Power of the Prime's Deluxe Sludge next to Grimlock configured as a torso. And here is Deluxe Sludge next to Power of the Prime's Prime Master Pretender Armor Skull Grin. All of the Dinobot Deluxes are good figures in their own right, and Sludge is no exception. Collectors would be remiss if they did not add this figure to their roster to finish off a Volcanicus. Positives are solid alt and robot modes, with Prime Master and Titan Master compatibility, robust articulation for the robot. Both the leg and arm modes are stable and well proportioned, the hind legs are removable with only one swivel joint, and something just seems off about the heels of the robot mode. Even so, Power of the Prime's Deluxe Sludge earns 7 out of 10 deaths. Though seriously, a Titan Sludge would have been awesome. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone, oh baby, tell the boy, and tell me I'm your own.